Good evening. I'm Emily. I'm Jessica. My name is Yuri. I'm Potencia. And I'm Arnold. This evening we will be talking about the housing cost in Burlington. Did you know that in Burlington has a population of roughly 43,000 people and yeah. 20,000 of them being students. Totally. Um, and today we're just going to attempt to, uh, the, to discuss the topic uh, of uh, housing markets and uh, how expensive the homes are here at, at, at the current time and, um, and uh, how it's pushing a lot of people out of state because they simply can't afford to uh, buy, houses, buy, buy a home in Chittenden County because they just don't, don't make enough. Um, yeah. um. <laughs> no, uh, uh, we, uh, earlier today we were able to talk to uh, uh, one of the real estate agents, uh, real estate agents that currently works with uh, one of the local uh, local firms here, and um, what he has described to us was um, that currently the market is extremely competitive. Um, all the houses there. Uh, they're being put on the market or being sold uh, within within days or even hours in some cases, and um, and that if you are looking for a home, um, you you potentially have to make a a, a decision, a, a lifelong decision of spending a, a quarter million or half a million dollars and live with it for the next thirty years, and you have to make that decision within hours or minutes even, which is which is insane to think of, think about. Um, um, what else did we learn from that guy, for the, from Ruslan today? Well, uh, one thing that I found out is that hi housing prices have been the same basically since 1997. They haven't gone down very much, but they've only gone up. That's, they haven't, nothing's fluctuated here. In Absolutely. Now. That's a great point, actually. That's one of the things that, uh, that he brought up to us is that um, we have seen a house uh, market increase um, here, and especially within the last five years. Um, there are homes on the market that are listed at about two hundred and seventy to two seventy-five thousand. They were purchased at two seventy-five five years ago, and they're being sold at three forty, three fifty, um, and they're gone within within days. You know, with uh, with no uh, no renovations de being done to them or anything anything like that, um, which is uh, which is insane to think about. Also, on top of that, uh, Linda, Vermont is the highest. Yeah. Vermont is the highest, uh, one of the highest states in the country. It's 13th for uh, highest housing prices in the country. Yep. Yep. Which is, but think they, about it. But I mean, there's not that many people here, which is that's why it confuses me. Also, the okay. there's 600,000 people that live Vermont? in Vermont in general, and in order to have, like in New York City, it's, it makes sense that it's expensive because there's so many people living here mm -hmm. or living there, but here in Vermont, that number confuses me. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I mean, in our in our opinions, there are uh, certainly, uh, there's certain things that we can do to kind of uh, try to try to lower the cost of housing here because uh, it's simply just pushing a lot of people out, especially young people that can't afford to live here. Um, you know, we, uh, we spoke about, um, um, that it's it's unfortunate that a lot of people want to stay here because of many wonderful things that the state has to offer but they're not getting paid enough or the job market is just not here in order for them to you know to afford to start a family here and they're kind of forced to be in you know pushed out um, and you know they are there are things in place um, that you know uh, we the state is known for uh, many uh, zoning restrictions and and you know building permits that you have to kind of follow through you know Act 250 being one of them um, even then you know I I I support the Act on its own because it's preserving the the natural beauty that Vermont has to offer but at the same time it's preventing us from building more um, and therefore building, having more housing for, for people that need it, you know? Well, um, there's uh, Bernie Sanders in 2017, I read an article about this. They cut a bunch of agencies, government agencies that provide um, money for people who can't afford, what, who can't afford to, to pay for uh, housing. Mm -hmm. And that's only increased the homeless population. And also on top of that, because when they cut the, the agency spending money to, you know, rebuild um, 
houses, apartments, and put money back into the government. In order to live in reasonably in Vermont, you have to make twenty-two dollars an hour, yeah. which is insane if you think about it. Twenty-two forty. Well, some of the ways that they've like tried to help reduce the amount of people who are homeless was with like the Section Eight funding. Mm -hmm. So, like they were, I was researching and like throughout the United States. A roughly like 4.8 million pe like low income households are relying on Section 8 housing, and like basically Section 8 housing is like paying the difference of what like because they are also paying for the rent, but they're paying for the difference that they can't come up with, and so like a lot of the people who do rely on it because even when we were on the streets interviewing yes. people like the people from the homeless guy that we interviewed, he was waiting for Section 8 to like go through so yeah which was yeah and he said he was on the he was on the wait for over two years and he wasn't sure whether um, whether he was going to qual qualify or not which was kind of surprising if you think about it for somebody who's homeless and has been homeless for a long time um, uh, to even to even worry about qualifying for section 8 is uh, is worrisome I'd say um, for sure well another thing about that is that uh, employment since 2016 hasn't changed. It hasn't gone up and it hasn't gone down. There's no jobs, you know, providing people who need, you know, I think in, in order to have Section 8 housing, you need to have some sort of income a little bit. Yeah. Totally. Um, but how are you supposed to do that and how are you supposed to qualify for a program when there isn't an influx of jobs? Absolutely. Nothing's happening. Totally. Totally. Well, yeah, and, and, that's, and that's the issue, you know, is that it seems like we the job market is almost non-existent you know we're we have a hard time placing people um so the working class is just forced to leave out because you're 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 also forced out of that that bracket to afford a home you know when and if you're not making over 25 dollars an hour you're kind of forced to buy a home for two hundred thousand. and two hundred thousand dollars in vermont unfortunately just gets you an extremely old home that need, needs a lot of work i mean yeah i mean like think of you know what what two hundred thousand dollars gets you in north carolina you know it's a new Texas. brand new construction yeah, yeah. brand new construction yeah. here you know you're spending that that big of amount of money and you're still uh, taking a risk it's a, it's a risk unfortunately you know it's almost like a, it's almost of a pleasure or you it's know. like buying a car once you buy a car you it loses value absolutely so you should be able to have the same value Absolutely. I mean, the one great thing about our state is that our value, you know, your property value will will hold for the most for the most part because the economy is extremely strong. You know, like even during the like Ruslan was telling us during the, uh, the when the housing market crashed um, and the 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 market here only went down by like six. Yeah, to no, 7%. like it stayed. That's what I'm saying. Since Absolutely. 19, yeah. So it's almost like it didn't really affect us that much. It was almost non-existent. Um, but um, but you know it, it is a problem absolutely you know and you know to touch up on the affordable housing you know we do we do need more like I would like to see these major um, real estate companies or these major development companies to kind of you know uh, pr provide you know maybe write up a business plan of some sort or you know just trying to you know we need to build more eventually to kind of well, provide more housing for people to stay in the state. There's a fact on here. You know where the fact sheet is? Um, yeah. I'm not sure. It's about the Burlington has the smallest, tallest building. Oh in yeah. The nation. Oh yeah. And that's that like uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's an old people's home, I believe. Yeah. Which is uh, you know, well, and that goes back into the Act 250 that it's preventing us from building upwards. Yeah. You know, we're and like I said, I, it's um, there's certain positives about the act. You know, it's preserving our state and its beauty. Nature. But at the same time, you know, uh, density is not the type of word that we like to use here and our officials like to use. It's not, you know, we don't like density. We want to stay away from it. And uh, and uh, that's just preventing us from, you know, keeping young professionals here in the state of Vermont. You know, Well, I mean, I've thought many times about leaving Vermont um, because uh, last year I paid $1,700 for a one bedroom oh. apartment on Church Street. Oh, right. mm -hmm which is a lot of money. Absolutely. Especially for me, because like, uh, you know. Yeah, well, renting costs, you know, um, yeah. we looked up the yeah. medium, uh, uh, an average cost to rent like a studio was 900, I think a one bedroom was 1100, two bedroom was 1300, so that's. that's but I'm also, what I'm saying is, back on your point, is that I'm paying for a pretty crap, well, I was paying, uh, paying for a pretty crappy place. It wasn't anything yeah. nice. And, and that's so, I mean, 
Yeah. So that's For a lot the same of amount of money down south will get you a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Three Absolutely. bedroom Absolutely. apartment, you know. Absolutely. Don't even have to have roommates, but, you know. But it's insane. Like, we were talking to Ruslan. I mean, uh, that's how competitive the market is in Chittenden County alone, where, you know, if, you're, if you want to live close to Burlington, you better be ready to spend over $300,000, and it's going to be uh, not a perfect home by any means, which, yeah. is, which is insane to think about. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. yeah, totally. We also, like, looking at back to this, in Chittenden, like, the demand versus, like, the need. So, like, there's a high demand, and there's just not enough houses for everyone to buy. Like, once upon a time, people wanted, like, the big houses, lots of yard and all that. But, like, those houses are racked up really expensive now. So, like, most people want to buy houses in the 200, 300 range, but they have to either compromise what they're going to get or they'll have to pay for a really long time. Yeah. So, like, people are literally choosing if they want to spend that money within hours, like you were saying, because they only have that much time because they're competing with so many other buyers now. Yeah, it's insane. And then um, we also spoke about uh, potentially uh, uh, raising the minimum wage in order to kind of uh, deflate the prices. But then that would raise a concern with the local businesses around the area because that would potentially put them out of business because, you know, as, as our state loves to be local and organic, that's what succeeds here. And, you know, if that were to happen, then those local businesses are not going to be able to afford their employee uh, to pay their employees 15 to $19 an hour, you know, so we'll we'll see a lot of local businesses going out of business. That's so. the problem is that in order to lower, you know, in order to build more, I mean, I mean, that would, what, what I'm saying is that that would solve a lot of things if we brought more jobs and more stuff into the, to build more houses, you would have more jobs and that's more of an economy. It would just work, but I forget what act you said, it's not allowing, act 250, it's yeah. not allowing people to do that. Totally. Yeah, so to wrap up this discussion, we'd like to leave you with some open-ended questions to kind of think about. And so, do you think that what you pay for your house is worth what you receive? And how can you make housing more affordable in Burlington, or how can we even improve Burlington? Thank you. Thanks.